So uh, last September, where is my chip? Last September, we came up with the idea of gathering all the poems that we have, or poems that we have worked, wor workshops in our um, time together. And um, we thought that the book would be a great Christmas present um, and decided to donate half the proceeds from the sales to Cork Simon, to the Cork Simon community, to help fight homelessness. Well, it's well over Christmas. The campaign has been running since January. And this is the peak of our fundraising efforts. We still have some of the books here, and if you like what you see and hear today, we have Mona at the bookstop, at the book, uh, bookshop, and um, uh, you can consider buying the book for just only a tenner, with five euros of each book going to Cork Simon. So 50% of what you give will support the fight against homelessness. Thanks very much. Thanks a million. So we have an exciting extravaganza of a show today, interweaving the solos of seven uh, local poets with experimental poetry ensembles in which two or more poets perform a piece together. And wait until you see our absolute highlight. We have prepared a speech choir that should, great, that, that should leave you greatly entertained. A speech choir with three voices performing a form, it, it, it's going to be great fun. Um, so I won't leave you wait any longer. Are you ready? Cool. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Blue Monday Poetry Show? We kick it off, so here we go. We'll start with my dear co-editor, J. Michael Tynan. He is an award-winning filmmaker whose films have been screened at the Fastnet Film Festival and reached the sem semi-finals in Stockholm, Berlin and Madrid. And in an internationally published poet and songwriter, he co-wrote the winning entry in the 2019 Cork International Folk Festival Song Contest. So, go on, John. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's a fight. So I'm going to read two poems to you today, um, one of which appears in our anthology. Um, sorry, it was inspired by um, when I saw my son climbing a tree, and it's about childhood memories, basically. It's called Memory Tree. When did I last sit dappled in a tree? I look and want to say, child, remember now these moments as you climb high and free. Tomorrow's tomorrow's too late. The recognition won't reveal until the feeling meld in trunk marked time concealed. But if I peel the bark and show you lots of momentary magic, you just ignore me, a sentimental notion dismissed by childhood logic. Too young to know the wicked grace of time, unfair of me to ask that it should matter, until you see yourself the leaves are rustling. Past your prime. Thank you. Thank you. Second one came about. I broke my arm cycling, and I wasn't being reckless, but regardless. And people would always say, "How did you break your arm?" And I had a myriad responses, which sure. The name of the poem, by the way, is called "Arms with a Response," and I call that in. How did you break your arm? They ask. Well, I say. I was on the cusp of greatness when I slipped. I tripped over a compliment I didn't see coming. I deflected an insult. I hit a wall in my creative process. I was ambushed by a prediction. I crashed while driving a hard bargain. I was sliding into oblivion when I hit rock bottom. I had my head in the clouds, and I walked into reality. And lastly, I was resting on my laurels when I was floored by a rifle. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much, John. That was lovely. That was beautiful. And John has been so great to work with on this book. It was amazing. I'm calling to the stage now for our first ensemble, Mag's 
Margaret uh, Margaret Noche, and she is going to do a um, she's going to do an ensemble with me, um, uh, where we have woven together a few environmental pieces, um, and Mags is going to take on the musical side of things in this case. Um, so let's kick it off. Okay. Hello everybody, hope you enjoy. This is a little bit about nature. We've intermingled two poems, some of mine are written 2015 and 16, and just mixing the ideas about them. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much, guys. That was our first ensemble. I hope you liked it. Um, ensembles are poems performed by more than one poet in various different ways. This is one way. I am now going to introduce our second reader. We were supposed to have here Susanna Trefiletti with us, who's part of the group. She's originally from Sicily and has become a real Cork original. Unfortunately, she can't be here today. So on short notice, we have found a poet well-known in Cork to join us. Philip Spillan. Yay! Welcome, Phil. Philip Spillan is a poet and writer from County Cork. He performed in the crossover in 2018, and in 19, he performed at the Fringe Festival Dublin as part of Poetry Ireland Versify. Since 2020, he has curated his own online event called Locked Out Collection, a seasonal series of poetry, music, and film. He just finished a Master's in Creative Writing at University of Limerick. Welcome, Phil! Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. I want to say very quickly, uh, Susanna, I hope you get better soon. And uh, yeah, these poem, the poem I'm going to say is for you. And also, it's a, also a poem for a very old Margaret O'Regan, which will be performing very soon. It's a fantastic poem so for two very powerful women. It's called In Prime. Hope I do it justice. The muses are dancing naked. The shadows are licking the trees. I hear her. Here she is. Her steps are sitting the excitement. Her mouth is quick and wit. Salute her, for she is a woman in her prime. Silver silk surrounds her skin. Gently rattling, her voice reveals, like the copper bells of, of a queen. There is no battle she hasn't fought nor a night or night she ever feared. When the fire is lit of tons and blood and pain and joys to the loss of a family planning center in Tucky Street, she has harvested the stories of all women of all times, the unspoken truths and the glorious victories. Her ears opened petals to their inner needs never give up, she whispers. She's poetry with lemon drizzle muffins. At the sound of passionate guitar, the chants of the De Denehem workers, the alterations of their nights. She baptizes the warriors, the one by one, with the salute water of the well of Venus, and buys them pale ale from corporate and coal on the dreesy autumn nights. She breathes light and laughs with pleasure at her full life lived. And we are held in her palms, a woman in her prime. Thank you very much. I'm going to do one of my own. So, does anyone know what the butterfly effect is? Jim knows. <laughs> a butterfly flex is when a butterfly flutters its wings and makes a storm in Australia. In other words, when you make a little change, it can have a big effect on the future. So, if you know what the butterfly effect is, what's the moth effect? <laughs> Pleasant at a time when you try to fish for a moth. By a light bulb dangling of a fishing rod, with its power being run straight from your heart, as it waves and dangles at the tip edge, away from the storm, and only one comes from the dark. Its winds flap madly, like that candle flame, battling its real eye after the puff of the lips. Admiring its delicate, flawed architecture, but also your power, pride, and self perspective. Shall you crack it between the point of your finger and the plaster wall? You never hear the consequences, as that moth effect is silent. 
Thanks very much for giving me your time. Have a nice day, okay? Good luck with the performance. Thank you so much for, for stepping in, Phil. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're going to see Phil again later as part of our most exciting point. The speech choir will be the highlight of our event. Um, so uh, I look forward to that. Now we have our second ensemble, and for that we have Catherine Ronan uh, on the at the mic with uh, with me. And we're going to do uh, we're going to do a bilingual echo poem. Catherine's going to be doing the English, and uh, I'm going to do the German. <laughs> okay, so let's kick it off. Einblick, Insight, an der Grenze zwischen Tag und Nacht, at the border between day and night, der Nahtstelle zwischen Welt und Geist, the seam between world and mind, durchdringt sich mein Sein. Und verwebt sich mein Blut. My soul is infused and my blood interweaves. Mit dem Fluss der Geschichte. With history's flow. Formt Bilder zu Worten. Forging visions to words. Geeint im Bewusstsein mit dem Feuer des Lebens. In consciousness merged with the fire of the light. Durch kosmische Adern strömend wie Glut. Streaming a glow through cosmic veins. Mit dem Atem, den Pulsen. With the breathing and pulsing. Der Sterne, des Mondes. Of the moon and the stars. Des Bluts und der Herzen. Of our blood and our hearts. Der Meere, der Zeit. Oceans and torrents, the kleinsten der Wesen durchfließen vereint. With the smallest of beings in the flow we are joined. Und ich stehe verstaunt. And I stand amazed. Bezaubert und sehe. Enchanted and gazed. Im Schauen hinaus auf den Lichtstrom des Alls. Outward with insight to the light stream of space und erkenne zutiefst and I deeply conceive wir alle sind eins we are all one thank you so much thanks a million thank you Catherine as well so with that, I call our third reader to the stage. We have Patricia Walsh now. Woo! Patricia hails from Cork and was educated here at UCC. Check out her chapbook, Continuity Errors, her novel, The Quest for Lost Era, and her latest novel, In the Days of Fort Cortina, which was published in August 21. Take it away, Patricia. Woo! Woo! Well, the whole, the whole thing heading open. that the... Um, when it's holding out. So this is called breaking out a window. No caution, of course, measuring the setting, driving to some godly home, a year of surmising, watching the dictionary sneak keeping a sweet, the improbable weather, absence of hunger, more camp the letter, dissolving on itself. You know that not even God knowing what you're up to. Timing the moment to a final ascension. Abruptly disappearing in Mission Supreme. Picking through windows enjoyed forever. A very rare flower in absolutely anymore. De declarations of hatred, hatred gone to intro. Walking home in disgrace, gone to state. Feeling phone call, catching the heart station, and, and his thoughts in dull, marking his overlord. His roving pain sight, a sickening god. Uh, hardly distant, politely, but still. Stamping the barracks like a rusty diamond. Forgetting his overshot, scored to see. Deserted, reduced to chilling outside. Great times running sour with the best of them. 
existing flows was due to burden time, not shunting to exile and other callous time, and enjoying drinking outside the common touch, spread thinly to good times practice. This is our small contribution. Composing for oneself, married on the border, near the solution, town is a somewhat slight. Wake the heart station, let it go to the extreme. Form of this limitation, gone past hide and seek. Needing this one close of the famous letter, cheating on brilliance, uh, this is balance. Stress on the head, leave time. Going backwards in time, and Dr. Gandhi says forgiveness is way too much. Not even going there, hide your circumstances. Giving points in order to kill, abstain for last orders. So you're saying for neutrality, watching rules. No need to interrogate this one for soup. The suppressive good, or base of payment, Laughing at his cold face and the advance notice. He needed at the, at the net first minute, not even interested. Knowing better, that no excuse for going in past. The lyrical mer- burn rises to a proper process. No use is either. Grabbing his own back, excavating externally, that to hold the good up. Actual designs on a on a liability in due process. Still walking, walking out of sight, left, gone. The rot of circumstances declares itself null and void. The real music scatters over the cobblestones. Thwarted destination, a glory at ease. Thank you all for coming. Hello. Hi, sir. You are listening to the Blue Monday's Poetry Show as part of Cork World Book Fest. And everyone else is doing that, too. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Uh, we are coming to um, our third ensemble, which I'm doing with John. This, uh, this ensemble is um, from a poem that we workshopped uh, uh, that, I, that was written in the lockdown. And it started with a with a poem that was written in a formal way, with rhymes and and rhythm and everything, and over the work it got condensed down more and more and more. So uh, this is um, this is called Standstill. Frozen deadlock, numbing. Oh, slow stagnation. Motion, stasis, viscous. Our swimming goo. Time, stretching, strain. Idle seconds, ticking, Welcome ticking. standing. Pause. Expand, rest. Merging days, weeks, color spiral, marble distance, yearning, silence forced close apart. Time elongates, confused days on structure, hours wish for movement. Time renewed. That was that. <laughs> oh, yes, we tried that as a layered echo poem. Um, that still makes it even more exciting. Thank you so much, John. Um, and our next reader now is going to be Max Green. Max Green O'Shea was here before with music. He is an absolute multi-talent who has won prizes in art, poetry, song and songwriting, including the City of Culture Poetry and the Mother Jones Song Competition. She's also a master artist. Just look at the cover of our book and the gorgeous portraits inside that she has drawn. Her latest poetry film in collaboration with Colin Scully, who's also here in the audience, is called Stills, Contemplations of a Painting, and has recently been crowned second finalist for the inaugural Ecrastic Film Prize at the Lyra Poetry Film Festival, a poetry festival in Bristol. 
So well done, Max. And welcome to the Hi, everybody. A lovely to see the sun coming out and friends nearby. And it's nice to see this lady, the jazz singer from America, from South Carolina, who said she'd come. So she's some church singer, this lady. Okay, so I will do two short little poems and a short little song that brings in this park. And it's love my son, Danny Geary, and he came down from Galway. So the drums, the drums for my musician sons. The drums, the drums, hearken, here come the drums. My son's arrival announced. Push telegraph through the privet hedge. Windows down, he rumbles through the cattle grid. Doonch, doonch is his way up the drive. Swings past the branches, he relaunches his cargo of sonar lunar capsules. Boom, boxing his way home. Windows down, he comes aground. Dims his speaker's surround sound. Their primal equinoxal dream. In bass beat, in treble, in ultra vox, full swing. Silent now, black felt has muffled their nocturnal screams. Sigh out at ease, I breathe. Ah, <gasps> he's home. Martial amps are humped up back and side. Did Behringer sleep beside some bike? And he rests on a velvet pillow in his blonde pleasure dome and sleeps his dreams with two hours till morning. At last, knees on stem. Every number played, set piece. Every number played and at peace. That's for Robert mainly, who was a DJ when in college and got up in the morning to study. And Dominic, one day, grew up to be six foot four, and he's still giving the kids fellows in the morning. So this is for Dom. <laughs> you push past my lips with the rush, and you dive in a sidestep to dodge bite. Move to and from embraces abruptly. Dust my cheek with your soft stubble brush. For once your whole form rested in here. Your crown smoothed softly to the breast. Pity brisk now with independence, but still pour down over my shoulder your troubled kiss. Love you, Dom. So I do a short little song, and I go off the stage to the So, well, this song I, I'm very happy to share the stage with um, Philip Spillan and his, his cousin John took us in for a songwriting little workshop, and I've got three great songs that was written my own life. Uh, so this one is the one that brings in Fitzgerald Park and it's two verses live, so it fits the time for it. Yeah, this one here? Okay. Are we all right here? Yeah. Okay. So, it's typical of us meeting for lunch nowadays in Cork. Stretch in the grass by the cinnamon 
And you watch the swans as they glide away Watch the swans as they glide away In a corner wheel A rainbow banner to the sky Like Mount Boisha sparks in Fitzgerald Park Dance in the fountains, rainbow spray Dance in the rainbow fountain spray Dance in the rainbow fountain spray Thank you so much, Meg. We are now coming to a point in the show which um, we call the ad break. Now, don't go away because the ad break is actually an ensemble for which I call every one of us, uh, as in everyone participating in this uh, ensemble to the stage, please. Um, Max, we need you too for this. <laughs> uh, and John is going to go to this mic. Century, they urge us to live every day. Erdogan, so I will to the crack. But they can't even live in the moment, because they warn us the future is here. Well, I'm glad I waited so. What I'll be called pseudo cool, claiming that the future is an attitude. Drive that Forsbundish technic ad into the past. Air also tells us to let's make possible. Try it. It can't be done. As for Abby, that they say <laughs> impossible is nothing. How unsporting. Then Toyota say, Dark, you're impossible. <laughs> and then watch it stall. While Uncle will drive you to distraction, saying, Beauty. Isn't scared of life? Enough to make you think of death? Then super dry to tell us all to win different. Well, being first just isn't good enough anymore. <laughs> While Mercedes assure us that better is closer than you think. Just look at that VW in the rear view mirror. But the red car for the most cutting slogan must go to Allianz Leeds who bluntly warn you where your edge belongs. Oh, that sounds a bit sore. Ouch! Thanks very much. As you can see, ensembles can take various forms. You can use various poems, and the outcome can be various as well. Uh, it's fantastic to have all these different uh, uh, bits uh, to lighten up the show. Um, so I'm going to now um, call to the stage Margaret O'Regan. Margaret O'Regan is a lifelong socialist activist in Cork. She's a member of O'Vale and co-host of the Barrett Spoken Word in Tronicilty. Her work covers a broad spectrum of life experience from erotic poems to those that address social injustice. 
Margaret is our very own pocket rocket. Thank you, Sue. Um, I'll read two poems. Uh, the first one is from the Blue Mondays anthology. It's called Cade Mila Falta. And for those of you who don't have Irish, Cade Mila Falta is a hundred thousand welcomes. Cade Mila Falta. In this land of Cade Mila Falta, holding pens have been called for. Cattle herded to slaughter. Sword of Damocles order. Cameras charged and recorded, ready to pounce and pronounce. Go back where you came from. Cade meet of altar refrain. Remains rounded up, condemned and deported from this land of Cade meet of altar to another fled from slaughter. Bounced like a football, boomeranged and shanghaied dropped from the air a parcel of despair by the rulers of Cade Mila Falta, who forget, who forget that we will not forget bully bureaucrat bile, that we will continue to fight, call an end to deportation flights from this land of Cade Mila Falta. My second one is called Aftermath. Smile when you think of us just now. Let it waft all around you. Wrap you up in a cloud. Caress you all over. Ripple through you softly. Let it touch you. Reach you. Deeply move you. Then Relive the contentment, the warmth, and the comfort. Find your feelings away, ready to retrieve from love's treasure trove. Thank you. Thanks very much. And uh, now uh, we come to an ensemble that uh, we are going to with three people. So Margaret can stay right up here with us. And Catherine is going to join us, and um, we're going to be doing a poem that we have mixed up from uh, different poems by the three of us. So, as soon as Margaret is ready, I'm at the mic. We can kick it off. It's called The Passion of Union. My fingers trace your shoulder blades, lingering in your groovy glaze, stem the outline of your spine as it meanders and inclines. I want to wed you in pagan ceremony, the feel of you, the scent of you, the taste of you, the heat of you lay bare on a harvest altar rust with desire the night entwines with ardent breath our hands old memory skin to skin in silken colors sinking deep into our eyes i want you to breathe words into me music i stayed up all night to hear purple-eyed heroine my palms swirl over your mounds, stretching my fingers, cupping and kneading, lingering, nerve endings tingling, caressed and drowned, time breezes in a dream dance, a stream of souls. I want your cloak of promise in my hand, as we both kiss back us for release of this turquoise torture. I slowly feel, lightly touch and twirl, round and round, exploring contours up and down. I feel your spirit, it stirs and strokes my animal within. A wellspring of juices bubbling beneath 
the surface heat, your imperial fingers pointing deep. Silver light in regis glowing, gentle hands caress the soul tenderly through time. Flying high, I laugh and cry, in bliss my body, you still my desire. Green bells erupt everywhere, I put them in my hair. Love flies and eagles. Mm. Thank you very much. That was the passion of you and then. Thanks. That was beautiful. So now I can have Catherine, keep Catherine with me here because she'll be the next reader. Catherine Ronan performs on open mics to international audiences and is a member of multiple poetry collectives. A regular contributor to O'Reilly, she is on. She's also on the Debarra Spoken Word team. Published in multiple anthologies, Catherine won the Winter Solstice competition and helped curate Poetry Town Bandon for Poetry Ireland in 2021. Go for it, Catherine. Thank you. Thanks everyone for being here. If you are my fairy buddy, thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to kick it off with the poem that won the Winter Solstice competition. It's called Winter Hope. I knew you would come, invincible sun. We burst from darkness, clock burn and turn. Stone singing ancestors face the same sky. Mistletoe blows, fire <coughs> On the darkest day, Jupiter and Saturn kiss. Fingers frosted blue trace ancient night. You offer me the veiled chalice of beginning. I crawl out of winter's cave, newborn in your sight. Squinting at your song, written in the tree. I knew you would come, invincible sun. Thank you. Before we had St. Patrick, we had Cleona the pagan sovereign goddess of West Cork. So uh, this was poem was chosen to launch Bandon Town as part of Poetry Ireland's Poetry Town. So it's called Cleana. Now we are free to kiss ancient mouths in our time. Sweet apples from a golden tree wake alive, heal Trembling steel trays, land of concrete promise. Underneath that calico blanket, everything revealed. Three birds sing blarney. We hear them in lusty stones, for all the world is red with white matted hair. You rise from the waves, kiss the solemn cheek. Wet feet in West Cork, fairy of the hills. Never too weak to speak, we hear you on the tides, whispering through the trees. Queen of, Queen of the Banshees! Now we have another um, sage that has been Christianized, but we had before we had the Christian Bridget, we had the pagan Bridget. And um, Max Creighton O'Shea, the infinitely talented Max Creighton O'Shea, has put my poem Bridget to music. So I'm very honoured, Max, to uh, welcome you to the stage. Um, and I special thanks to Dr. Jenny Butler in UCC. Uh, I did a course in wit and magic, and a lot of material for Bridget came from that course in UCC, so thank you Dr. Jenny Butler.
In forward motion, luscious passion flowing, until my light flares orange with a fiery glow. This is the juiciest blossom time to butterfly. Yet, when the hour twenty-four strikes on my weed, that orange dazzles far too loud for me. Instead, my wardrobe lures with pinks and lilacs, join into the dance, connect with all existence. And then, one morning, simply raw, bright red I feel. So I draw back into my sacred crimson space with tea and cleanse myself in velvet caramel, a fragrant bath with candles burning incense, until to purple focus my color wheel slows down, then rests again in the cypress green and brown. Thank you very much. Well. So that was a poem that's also included in the book. Uh, the second one I'm doing um, is a newer poem uh, that is um, a, it's a political comment on, on what's happening nowadays. So this is called History on Repeat. Like fake monks mumbling Gregorian chants among monastic Grecian columns, all sensuous stimulation banned. We keep our heads bowed, hands down, minds close to the creepy truth, surrounding us like ashen odors returning from the dawn of another century gone by, a religion taken too far to forgive still. The kerfuffle created on the surface has cast another split of faith, an incorrigible shift, flipped left and right today to sow confusion seeding thoughts to counter what's to come. But deep inside we know one morning, against all the blindness of silence imposed, we better wake, no matter how hard we deny the bitter underside of what we see, lest we leave behind the uncomfortable taste of manifesting history on repeat. Thank you very much. For the last peak point now, I would like to call the speech choir to the stage. This has been long rehearsed. We're very excited. You'll miss it in a few seconds. <laughs> uh, um, and it's, um, it's a first, uh, it's a first, it's a print. So, um, So this um, this uh, speech choir, what a speech choir is, is um, a piece of poetry performed with more than uh, one voice. So um, we have three voices here, and um, we're going to perform it like a choir piece. Um, the piece is called The Nonsense Ballad, and it's based on my daughter playing with the word ballade, which is the German for ballad. Uh, and um, the piece basically um, deconstructs the uh, word ballade playfully uh, into nonsense. Uh, so there's, for example, one that's this, this here, bala bala, which will be all into bala bala, and that means in German crazy. So there's everything, everything has to do with nonsense, blah blah, laba laba, blabber blabber, all these things, they all mean nonsense, and this is how it comes together. So, John, count us in. Ha <laughs> 
That was that. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope our efforts in creating ensembles have uh, added to the show. And thank you so much, everyone, for participating, everyone for listening. I also want to thank Borco for the sound. Uh, we wouldn't have gone out to Borco. Uh, and um, thanks a million to Patricia Looney, Cork City Library, and Cork City Council for putting up Cork World Book Fest and for inviting us to do this show here for you. If uh, you're interested in our books, we have them here at the bookshop. Uh, a tenor, 50% goes to Cork Simon. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the rest of your beautiful Sunday.